Good afternoon, I am Bruce Nolan with Channel 5 News and welcome to Word Knowledge as Web Style. My name is Coach Anderson, let's have a good time. <laughs> welcome in guys, hope you guys are doing well today. I am just having an amazing day, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a Word Knowledge problem and the strategies that you can use to give yourself the best chance to get a question right, even if you don't know exactly what that specific word means. So again, Anderson, your ASVAB coach here, let's get to it. And if you didn't know tonight, if you're watching the video when it comes out, we have a class, a two hour class on word knowledge, where we're gonna go over these same strategies and give you 30 practice problems and teach you the strategies and then all of the methods that you can use to raise your score, guaranteed. Because remember, the word knowledge might feel like a game of chance. It might feel like, oh man, you know, there's 100,000 plus words in the dictionary. How am I supposed to be ready for the word knowledge? Don't worry. There's a strategy and there's a format that the test has to be in and that's what you need to learn so that you can focus your energy the right way and raise your score. But you also have to put in the time, which means, yeah, once you know the strategies, then it's all effort from there. It's not a guessing game anymore. You can do your job the right way. If you wanna join the class, this is what my full program entails, all the classes, recordings, and every type of learning style that fits you to make sure that you can raise your score without all the hassle. So if you wanna learn more about my program, again, it covers the math and the English, extra resources for general science as well. Shoot me a text, there's my number right there, or check the link in this post somewhere in, the, in this video for the link to class. You can look at that link right there at the bottom left corner, and it's also here in the description of this video. But enough about that. Again, I want you to raise your score, so hit me up if you wanna learn more about that. I got you. But let's go ahead and show you the strategies that you can use when you're taking the test. So, again, the word here is dexterity. So dexterity most nearly means what? Visibility, sensitivity, coordinated, or murkiness. So here's the thing, everybody. What you need to make sure you do specifically is go through this nice little five-step process. And I'll write it down for you. Number one, just honestly, straight up, do you know the word or not? Again, do you know the word or not? Straight up, do you know it? So do you, do you know it? Well, if you know it, great. Then you know what the answer is. I don't have to be here with you, right? But step two, if you don't know it, well, have you heard the word before? Have you heard of it before? Any way, shape, or form. Like, because the thing is, I think we can both agree, there have been times where we've seen words that we know we've heard, but we don't know the exact definition. Maybe we remember a sentence it was used in. Maybe we remember uh, you know, a, a TV show or a movie where it was said, right? And so you wanna just take a pause and ask yourself, okay, dexterity. Have I heard that before? Have I heard it before? What was the emotion? Like, what, what did I feel when I heard it? And because that gives you an opportunity to kind of fish in your brain to see what you can find. It's a great strategy to use, and it takes just three, four seconds to do. Because you have 30 seconds per question. So going through these steps, again, gives you the best chance. Step three, are there any prefixes, suffixes, or root words that you recognize in this word? And so there is a root word here, and it's a dexter. So have you ever heard of the word ambidextrous? Oh, man, that person is ambidextrous. That person's two-handed. They can use both their hands, right? Maybe you've heard that before. That is a root word for ambidextrous. And so when you think of that, okay, ambidextrous, that means that they're, oh, they're able to use both hands. They're both right and left-handed. So which of these words sounds like the ability to use you know, your hands? Visibility? No. Sensitivity? No. Coordinated? Yes. Murkiness? Not quite. And so we can pick apart the answer right there. We can find it right there. And so here are the other two steps. The other two steps are, if you're dealing with a sentence question, which we're not here, but if you're dealing with a sentence question, you can plug in the word to the sentence, or you can read around the word for context clues. That's a very good strategy, very good strategy to give yourself the best chance of success. And then number five, if all else fails, this is when you know that you can take a guess. But you have to go through these strategies first before you guess. That way, one, you lower your test anxiety and you understand what's going on. And you can basically say, okay, these are the strategies I'm going through. And once all else fails, then you truly don't know the word. Now it's time to take a guess. That's the opportunity it gives you. And number two, Here's something that you always wanna do with every single word that you're practicing with. You wanna make sure that not only do you define the word, 
but you understand what other words are related to this word, synonyms. And number three, make sure that you use the word in a sentence. Word knowledge is not simply about, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and memorize all these words. No, word knowledge is about expanding your language. That's what it's about. Truly knowing these words, so that way you don't have to come back in two days and be like, dexterity, I completely forgot what this means. Flashcard, flashcard, no. If you use it, you make more connections in your brain, allowing you to remember the word for next time. And so the definition of dexterity is skill in performing tasks. Skill in performing tasks, a related word, ambidextrous, being able to use two hands, being coordinated with two hands. And in a sentence, everyone admired her dexterity with the chalk on the asphalt. Cool. Everybody, everybody admired her coordination when it came to using the chalk on the, on the asphalt. Cool. Sounds good. So seriously, guys, it's, it's very, very sincere, straightforward to the point, but you've got to make sure you apply these strategies because if not, then you're not giving yourself the best opportunity to succeed. So again, I'm Anderson, your ASVAB coach. We got a two hour class on this as part of my full program tonight. And the program is so affordable and you get so much that there's no possible way that your score won't go up. So with that said, check out the screen here in a couple of seconds behind me and go ahead and check the link out, watch the video on how it works, and I'll help you raise your score. Again, let's ace the ASVAB. I'll see you there.